Hello, and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to use SOLIDWORKS sheet metal to create a cardboard or corrugated box. I'll be showing two different methods. The first one will be creating the box in its folded state. Let's take a look at how to do that. We'll start by creating a new part, then navigating to the sheet metal tab. If you don't see the sheet metal tab, right click any tab and you'll be able to turn on sheet metal. Now I'll create the first side of the box. This particular box will be long and narrow. When the base flange property manager appears, I'll change the thickness to my desired amount, which will depend on the type of cardboard I'm using. After that, I'll check the sheet metal parameters to see what the default bin radius is. If I want to change it, this is where I do that. Next, I'll create another side using the edge flange feature. I'll leave flange parameters at default so that they are consistent throughout the part. I'll set the blind and adjust the way SOLIDWORKS measures the blind distance. And finally, I'll change the flange position to account for the bin radius in the overall length. I'll move on to the next side and repeat the process with one change. I'll need to have a different blind length to account for the bins from the existing side and the side that will be created next. Keeping that in mind, I'll finish this edge flange and continue to the last one. For this side, I'll need to again keep in mind the bins effect on the blind length, as well as where I want this side to end up in relation to the first side or base flange. To that end, I'll need to change both the measurement selection and the flange position again. This will achieve my desired outcome for this particular box. To finish off the overall shape of the box, I'll add a small flange between the first and last side that would be glued together once manufactured. For this flange, what is important is the length and that it rests on top of the first side. Using the same methods as before, I'll get the flange right where I want it. Now I need to create the end flaps of the box. For this box, the end flaps will be roughly the same size, so I'll be creating a stack of four flaps. This will be very similar to how I made the box sides, but I'll need to use the offset option to achieve the stack. The first flange will be created just like the sides. I'll set the blind distance, measurement type, and flange position. The second flap is where I'll start to use the offset option. First I'll continue as normal with the blind measurement and flange position. Then I'll turn on the trim side bends to ensure a cleaner look, and most importantly the offset. The offset is used to extend the flange up or down, thus allowing the second flap to stack on the first. I'll repeat these steps for the last two flaps, making the adjustments necessary to achieve my end goal. Once the flaps are created, I'll flatten the part to see how it looks. If I want to make changes or small adjustments, the flat pattern can give me some insight to that end. I'm satisfied with how the box looks. Now I need to create the flaps on the other side. I could create them the same way that I created this side of the box, but that is not the efficient way. Utilizing the symmetric nature of this part and the mirror operation, I can easily copy the flaps to the other side. I'll give the flat pattern another look to verify the end result and call this part complete. Now for the second method of creating a cardboard or corrugated box in SOLIDWORKS, that is to start with the flat pattern and bend slash fold the box into shape. For this one, I'm going to walk you through the process of a box I've already created. To start, I made a uniform extrusion and then cut out the sections defining the flaps. Next, I added sketch lines to define where the bends will be once I start that process. With the flat created, I convert the part to a sheet metal part. Now I can use the sheet metal tools to bend this box into shape. Using the sketched bin operation, I use the previously created sketch lines to fold the box. Once the body is folded into position, I need to create the flaps. Using sketch bins here is an option, but for this box I used edge flanges to take advantage of the offset capabilities and to reduce the number of features in my feature tree. Going into the edge flange feature, notice that for the offset, reverse direction is selected. This makes the flap consume the existing material while maintaining the edge length and I can achieve this for both sides at once. For the second set of flaps, I utilize the first set and use the offset from surface parameter to easily create them. To translate the flap to the other side, I use the same method as with the long box and mirror the features over. Lastly, I need to fold the glue flange into position. Since the box is mostly done and the other sketch bins are defined, 
I find it easier to just cut the flange off and recreate it using the edge flange operation. Once complete, I'll check the flat pattern to verify the end results. If I'm happy with this, I'll we'll call this part complete. And this brings us to the end of this SOLIDWORKS tutorial on how to use SOLIDWORKS sheet metal to create a cardboard or corrugated box. These are just two examples. You can take these and create many various types of boxes. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe for all the latest and greatest SOLIDWORKS tutorials. And thanks for watching.